the first step to setting up John Deere machine sync is going to the setup button, selecting your equipment, and setting up your implement, which in this case we have set up for the grain cart. You'll need to add a profile name, controller will be none, air cart will also be none. We'll want to put in some measurements that are close to what the grain cart is and then you'll want to make sure you have operation set up as harvesting in order to do infield data sharing. If you would like to set up another operation you could but only harvesting is required. Working with is only used for coverage mapping which we typically will not be using. Work recording you would want set on manual connection type drawbar. So we'll want to ensure that we have harvesting set up and we have the appropriate crop in order to share with the combine. And down at the bottom, we'll suggest setting up shortcuts for machine sync as well as infield data sharing. From the run page, there will be two shortcuts that we'll like to set up for machine sync. The first one is the machine sync direct access. The second one is going to be for infield data sharing. If infield data sharing is working correctly, we should see a two between the tractor and the grain cart. And then we can see on our map our combine driving through the field. We can also see our coverage map of the combine in the light blue to designate the area that's already been harvested by the machine. Another function of infield data sharing is being able to see the connection to the combine, signal strength, as well as the grain tank percentage fill of the combine to know when we need to head to the combine to unload. A couple things to set up infield data sharing from the shortcut We'll need to make sure Enable Sync to Operations Center and Enable Sync from Operations Center are both turned on to be able to sync data back and forth and share coverage with the machine. When you pull into a new field and both the combine and the grain cart are both set up for the same field as well as the same crop, the data sharing should automatically go to two to begin sharing. The other shortcut would be the direct link to machine sync. Each time the machine is started, you'll need to come into this page and turn machine sync on in both the combine and the grain cart. We can also set the home point as well as nudge, but we can also set those up on our run page. One thing to point out is the arrow at the top for advanced settings. This allows us to change our inline nudge increments, both inline, which would be forward to backward, as well as lateral side to side. So every time we push the nudge button, this is how far it's gonna move. Note that the nudges are different settings for the tractor and the combine. So if you set them in the grain cart, they will also need to be set the same in the combine if you would like those to match. Another important setting is your speed sensitivity. Typically to reduce surging from the tractor side, we'll typically want to set this to one. By default, it's usually going to be on three. The tractor will need to be set as the follower in a combine and a grain cart situation. And then we can select whether we want to use controlled traffic mode, which would in entail running on an AB line versus just running in direct relationship to the combine. Then we can choose to save, save nudges for the next connection. So if a nudge is made, do we want it to automatically go back to that position the next time we dump the combine? Or no, we always want it to go back to the original home point. For a combine and a grain cart, we will typically not use multiple home points. As the combine approaches, you will see an orange box on the screen and the combine begin to approach. You will see a little house moving in the box which designates where the home point is at. We'll 
see ready change to acquiring when the resume switch is pressed and then we'll hit tracking and hear a beep when the grain card is in position. We have the ability to change the home point by setting it here with the button on the left side. We also have the ability to nudge from the grain cart or the combine. Currently controlled traffic mode is on using AB line so we only have the ability to nudge in line front to back. We can see the connection to the combine is good and strong and currently the unloading auger is engaged. You can also see the combine beside us on the mapping screen. It's very important when running machine sync to ensure that your orange set speed is set high enough for your application. If you're catching the combine from behind and you need to speed up to catch the machine, ensure the set speed is high enough to be able to do that. The machine will only go as fast as the set speed allows, so we need to make sure that is set high enough for what we need. Also keep in mind when the steering wheel is turned, the set speed will change to the current speed of the machine when dumping. So you will need to typically remember to bump this back up before you begin dumping on the go the next time. Also keep in mind that the throttle has to be ahead all the way in order to achieve the set speed as well. When you disengage from the combine, if you scroll the wheel ahead, it will disengage and immediately resume the current set speed. So for example, if you're dumping at four and a half mile an hour and your set speed is set at six, and then you begin to scroll up, the machine will automatically disengage machine sync and immediately go to 6.6 .6 mile an hour. So in instances where your set speed might be 10 or 11, and then you use the scroll wheel to disengage, it will immediately try to get to that speed. So keep that in mind. Typically, you're gonna want your set speed just a little bit higher than what the machine is running. So when it disengages, it doesn't get going too fast. going to flip screens here and demonstrate shift track nudging capability. So if the combine nudges the grain cart on these larger map screens, you can see what shift has been applied and you'll hear an audible beep to know that a shift has been made to the grain cart. See the grain cart is getting full and he's shifting us ahead to fill from the front toward the back of the grain cart.